Hello and welcome to our channel. Here, we honor the lives and legacies of notable figures who have recently passed away, including those who left us on Friday, April 26. In today's video, we'll be sharing some unfortunate updates about the actress Goldie Hawn. But before we dive into that, we have a special request for you. Please subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends, and leave a like to help us reach more people with our content. Thank you for your support. Kaisa Korhonen, a luminary in Finnish theater, excelled as a director, actor, singer, and dramaturge. Emerging from the leftist music scene, her bold performances alongside Tom Tottery resonated with audiences, symbolizing the era's political fervor. Transitioning to directing, Korhonen's Brechtian influences shaped her innovative productions, including the founding of Kam Tottery to democratize theater. Her impactful teaching career at institutions like the Helsinki Theater Academy and Tampere University cemented her legacy in Finnish theater education. Throughout her prolific career spanning over 100 plays, Korhonen's passion and creativity left an enduring imprint on the industry. Her personal life, marked by marriages to composer Carrie Shyness and actor Matty Tapio Razila, added depth to her narrative. Korhonen's passing in 2024 marked the end of an era in Finnish theatre, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire generations of theatre practitioners. Terry Carter, a trailblazing American actor and filmmaker, left an indelible mark on film and television. From his Broadway beginnings to iconic roles in McLeod and Battlestar Galactica, Carter's talent and versatility captivated audiences worldwide. He broke barriers as one of the first black TV news anchors and portrayed Colonel Ty in Battlestar Galactica. Carter championed diversity in media, dedicating himself to fostering intercultural understanding through initiatives like Metaphor Productions and the Council for Positive Images. His passing in April 2024 marked the end of a remarkable career, but his legacy of advocacy for diversity and representation in entertainment will continue to inspire future generations. Delane Andre Easton, an American politician and educator from California, made history as the first woman elected California State Superintendent of Public Instruction, serving from 1995 to 2003. Prioritizing education reform and safety measures, she left a lasting impact. Before her political career, Easton excelled as a professor of women's studies and political science, inspiring students at various colleges. Transitioning to corporate America, she played a pivotal role in advocating for the expansion of cellular phone service at Pacific Telephone. Her dedication to public service extended to her tenure on the Union City Council, where she championed environmental initiatives and library services. Easton's outstanding contributions earned her accolades such as the Rookie of the Year Acknowledgement from the California Journal and prestigious awards from organizations like the American Library Association and Cadango. Her passing on April 23, 2024, at the age of 76, marked the end of a remarkable life dedicated to improving education and public welfare in California. Her legacy as a trailblazer and inspirational leader will continue to resonate for years to come. Philippe Laudenbach, a distinguished French actor, left an indelible mark on cinema and theater with over 100 film credits since 1963. Laudenbach showcased his talent and versatility on screen, trained at the French National Academy of Dramatic Arts. He upheld a rich legacy as the nephew of Pierre F. R. Laudenbach. Laudenbach's as notable performance in Luigi Pirandello's play, The Crazies, earned him a nomination for the prestigious Moliere Award for Best Supporting Actor in 1998. Beyond his professional achievements, he shared his life with Francine Walter, an actress and drama teacher at La Brora and the Théâtre de l'Atelier. His passing in April 2024, at the age of 88, marked the end of a remarkable career in French entertainment. Philippe Laudenbach's contributions to cinema and theater will be remembered with admiration and appreciation for generations to come. Stina Agnes Elizabeth Rodlin, a renowned Finnish-Swedish actress, captivated audiences with her portrayal of Lena Kingström in the acclaimed television series, Martin Beck. Fluent in both Swedish and Finnish, she brought depth and authenticity to her performances. Rodlin's talent and versatility earned her widespread recognition and admiration throughout her career. 
Her passing on April 26 in Stockholm, following a battle with cancer, marked the end of a remarkable life in the world of entertainment. Survived by her two children, Rodelin leaves behind a legacy of excellence and inspiration that will be cherished by fans and colleagues alike. Joseph Flaherty, known for his versatile talent as an actor, writer, and comedian, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Flaherty's career spanned decades and encompassed a wide range of roles across television and film. His memorable performances on the Canadian sketch comedy show SCTV, where he also served as a writer, solidified his place in comedy history. From portraying characters like Big Jim McBob to the iconic Count Floyd, Flaherty showcased his comedic prowess and ability to captivate audiences. His contributions extended beyond comedy with notable roles in cult favorite films like Back to the Future Part II and Happy Gilmore, where he left an unforgettable impression with his comedic timing and delivery. Throughout his career, Flaherty continued to showcase his talent across various mediums, from television appearances on shows like Freaks and Geeks to his work as an artist-in-residence at Humber College's School of Creative and Performing Arts in Toronto. His passing on April 1, 2024, marked the end of a remarkable career, but his legacy lives on through his timeless performances and contributions to comedy and entertainment. Joseph Flaherty will be remembered fondly for his comedic genius and lasting impact on the industry. Cale Yarborough, a legendary figure in NASCAR history, left an enduring legacy as a driver, owner, and entrepreneur. Born in the rural community of Sardis near Timmonsville, South Carolina, Yarborough rose to prominence as one of the sport's preeminent drivers, capturing three consecutive championships from 1976 to 1978. His remarkable career saw him achieve 83 wins, tying him for sixth on the all-time NASCAR Cup Series winners list. Notable among his victories were four Daytona 500 triumphs, cementing his status as a Daytona legend. Beyond his racing accomplishments, Yarborough's influence extended to business and agriculture, owning successful ventures and maintaining a ranch and farm in his hometown of Florence, South Carolina. Yarborough's journey to racing stardom began humbly, with his early years marked by tragedy and perseverance. Despite facing adversity, including the loss of his father at a young age, Yarborough's determination and talent propelled him to success on the racetrack. From his debut in the Southern 500 in 1957 to his breakthrough wins in the 1960s and 1970s, Yarborough's career was defined by resilience and excellence. His impact on NASCAR, both as a driver and a personality, endures as a testament to his enduring legacy in the sport. Lee Sun Kyun, a celebrated South Korean actor, left an indelible mark on both the screen and stage. Internationally renowned for his compelling performances, he garnered widespread acclaim for his role in Bong Joon-ho's masterpiece, Parasite, earning accolades including a Screen Actors Guild Award. Debuting in 2000, Lee's talent shone brightly in TV dramas and musical theater, with standout performances in Coffee Prince and Behind the White Tower. His versatility and depth were further showcased in films like Payu, where his portrayal earned him the Best Actor Award at the Las Palmas de Gran Canaria International Film Festival. Despite his success in mainstream dramas, Lee ventured into low-budget arthouse films, collaborating with esteemed director Hong Sang-soo in poignant works such as Night and Day and Oki's Movie. His dedication to his craft and willingness to explore diverse roles earned him critical acclaim and admiration from audiences. Lee's commitment to his artistry extended beyond the screen, as seen in his advocacy for short dramas and his return to theater opposite his wife, John Jun Hyun, in Mike Bartlett's Love, Love, Love. His enduring legacy encompasses a wide range of performances, from romantic comedies like All About My Wife to gripping thrillers like A Hard Day. Goldie Hawn, a legendary figure in Hollywood, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry with her exceptional talent and effervescent charm. Born on November 21, 1945, in Washington, D.C., Hawn began her career as a dancer before transitioning to acting, where she quickly rose to prominence with her captivating performances and infectious charisma. Hawn's breakout role came in the late 1960s with the sketch comedy show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, 
where her comedic timing and bubbly persona endeared her to audiences across America. Her success on television paved the way for a flourishing film career, with her first major film role in the comedy, Cactus Flower, in 1969, for which she won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, Hawn solidified her status as one of Hollywood's leading actresses, starring in a string of box office hits such as There's a Girl in My Soup, 1970, Shampoo, 1975, and Private Benjamin, 1980, the latter of which earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. Her ability to effortlessly blend comedy with heartfelt moments endeared her to audiences of all ages, making her one of the most beloved and versatile actresses of her generation.